started. So I'm trying this riff one more time. I just miss her. Oh, that's so sweet. He said he miss her. Love you too, Oscar. Look, and all this time, I didn't even think that uh, that Tremaine had a heart. He talking about he just miss her. He just misses little baby. I'm glad you enjoyed it, brother. I'm glad you enjoyed it. He said, man, what you 39 years old? Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep it coming. Keep it coming, baby. Keep it coming. All right. Got that. We got those two. Should be. 
I should be making a video, but you trying to be in it, Oscar? What's up, girl? So, Keisha, you, you, you getting one from, uh, from Target? They made me think twice for real. The sight of the Great Hall took Phoenix's breath away. This is incredible. It's all right. Could use some updating. The Golem motif is a bit laid out. So, we're safe here. Remember that thing I stole from Typhon? It was an itty bitty piece of his eye to hide this piece from his terrifying gaze. You're welcome. You said this is the Hall of the Gods. Well, where are the others? Let me start from the beginning. With his hand on Phoenix's shoulder. Hermes recounted the tale of Typhon, destroyer of gods. Typhon, born of Gaia, I don't know what Dante was a went. terrible, cruel beast who vowed to free the Titans and obliterate the gods. He challenged Zeus for the rule of the cosmos. Fortunately, Typhon was defeated. Damn straight he was! And imprisoned under a mountain, where he could do no more harm. I've got to get back into that kind of shape. For 
thousands of years. Typhon, Vester. Until Helios was eclipsed and burning stars fell from the heavens. The stars burnt through Typhon's chain. And in an explosion of fire and smoke, Typhon burst from the mountain. The gods had wronged and tortured him. Never again! He vowed. This world will be cleansed. The gods will pay! And so, Typhon sought his revenge. Destroy the veil that separates this hallowed land from the underworld. Let Tartarus walk among the gods. Tremble, devour, and turn this life called god to dust. Come, Olympians, brandish your weapons and face me. You have underestimated my power and work in your hubris. Go to my unseatable perfection! Some gods fled in fear. Others stayed to fight. Many were captured. Typhon split them apart, cleaving their essences from them and transforming them irrevocably. In a final desperate attempt to save their lands, the gods called on the heroes of old. The last warriors who had more than a few drops of God's blood remaining in their veins. <laughs> Weak and selfish, your heroes will exist as shadows of their former selves, serving me forever! The gods had failed, and so had the heroes. But just when all hope seemed lost, So yeah, a lot of fighting and losing, and now you are our only remaining hope to restore these lands to their former glory, and save the world from chaos. All we have, Phoenix, is you. No pressure. I kinda lost track of who's who. Is that one with the spiky hair you or Typhon? The vanquished gods need to be reunited with their severed essences to regain their power. Then, together, you must defeat Typhon. Huh. Huh. This is honestly a lot. I wish my brother was here. Look, kid, I'm not perfect. I'm the guy who escorted Pandora to Earth for Zeus's sake. But maybe, just maybe, you're the right hero at the right time. Also, you're literally all we've got, seeing as how everyone else has been defeated. Good luck. I'll be right here, doing nothing. <clears throat> I mean, beginning preparations. Thanks. I think. Oh, there's that face again. Fine. Your best starting point is to reach the top of the other statues on the Golden Isle, so you can track the missing gods. Find them, and they should be able to help you locate their stolen essences. Although... They haven't been themselves, so I'm really not sure. Um... What's that mean? Guess you'll find out. Phoenix, think. What would my brother do? Legiron would probably take on Typhon single-handedly, like when he bested the entire Spartan fleet. Who am I kidding? I... Oh, dang. Those are a few ideas for ways to stick it to Typhon. You mortals seem to need an incentive, so I'll pay you Electrum for accomplishing each. And since I'm the god of merchandise, you can spend it right here on, you guessed it, merchandise. merchandise. Huh. Ooh, creative. Or you could always just pay me your own Electrum. I thought the incentive was for me. I'm the god of financial gain. Those prices. Wow. I'm also the god of thieves. We all have our vices. What's that underneath? It's a chore chart. 
Someone has to get Ares to clean up after himself. Ever try to get blood out of a sea of blood? Now that is a feat. Yeah, that that's that might be too easy, Jermaine. Man, why do you keep bringing me to these cutscenes? Is this a Thestus's forge? You're cute. Try not to impede Never play Rocket League. Anything. But Phoenix wasn't listening. He was drawn to the forge by a hidden force. The adamantine he'd gather, calling out to be reshaped. Um, hey, hey, Ron, why are you not in bed right now? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Hey, hey, Ron, no, you need to be sleeping. Smell again. Ambrosia is life. You want increased protection? Distill it here and drink up. Then, enjoy the ride. One time, Athena downed that whole Kelex and destroyed the entire Greek fleet right after she had sided with them in battle. It was epic. Sorry. Guess you just had to be there. Many of my relatives were. They died. And I told Athena not to do that. But did she listen? No. the last gift from the underworld and look what happened to him who's Argo exactly 